What's going on guys, Trevor here. Uh, bringing you a new video, uh, the Storm Chaser build, uh, which is the new popular build going on, uh, replacing Wicked Wind. Uh, it's basically just like Critical Mass, only instead of um, Wicked Wind, we're using Storm Chaser now. Um, I'm going to show you three different variants of the build. Uh, the first one being with the Archon, with Arcane Destruction, on your right click here. Um, this build is basically the same as Wicked Wind guys. Um, you want Cold Snap, you want Chain Reaction. Right now I'm going with Blur and Cold Blooded, uh, but these can be swapped out for, depending on your gear, uh, depending on the act you're in, you can swap Cold Blooded out for Glass Cannon. You can swap Blur out for Evocation. Uh, you can play around with those. Um, I don't have the best gear in the world, so right now Blur is helping me stay alive. Um, you can even swap out Cold Snap for Bone Chill. Uh, so depending on your gear, that's what you wanna. That's what you wanna figure out based on your gear. But the gear, guys, same as Crit Mass. You want you want those high resists. Uh, mine could even be better. You want that high crit chance. I'm at 47% with the Scoundrel. You wanna use that Scoundrel to get that 3% additional crit. Um, you want crit damage. Mine could also be better. But again, I don't have the best gear in the world. And it's basically the same thing, guys. Uh, only uh, energy twister is proccing um, way better than Wicked Wind is now after the nerf. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been working on a bit of a cold this past few days. Um, but so I'm going to show you guys. I got a group um, on the uh, on the waypoint here on the bridge. I'm going to show you first uh, how Archon works, and then I'm going to show you uh, the other two variants. Um, but basically how this works guys is you're treating it, you're casting uh, your energy twister just like it was Wicked Wind and you're keeping Frost Nova, Diamond Skin, Chain Reaction going. So nothing, nothing's changed there. Alright, let's try that again real quick. <laughs> Make sure your cooldown's ready. So once you build them up you pop that Archon and you can pop out of it. Pop it, get that big explosion, then you can pop out of it. Now you don't even have to do that, you don't even have to pop in and out of it. You can just treat it like good old good old wicked win and just sit here and take them down with crit mass. Um, the the part about Archon that's nice is for when you have an elite pack. Let's see if I can go hunt one down real quick. When you have an elite pack and they're they're getting low on health, you can pop that Archon really deal some good damage. And you you want to have life on hit guys, like I, I only have 300 life on hit so I'm actually struggling a little bit with uh, with some of these guys out here, especially the range guys because I'm not dealing all that much damage. But see, so you can see guys, you can get almost that perma freeze going again. See I can just sit here and take these guys down with chain reaction. And if you want to, you can pop in and out of Archon to get that big 1600% damage boost. <clears throat> keep your Prismatic up. Just keep cruising, going from pack to pack. Start with some Twisters. Attack speed is really helpful on this build, guys. So you can just come in here, pop Archon, get that huge explosion. It drops everything. Hop out of Archon. You know, depending on your gear, you can stay in Archon longer. Um, like I was saying, I don't have the best gear in the world, so I can't really hang in it too long. Because I'll just get killed. But you can build it up, build it up. And carry it into your next group. Ignore all the champs now. Let me show you guys this is a champ build so I can... Hunt one down real quick. Need more time. I get a good Archon pop right here. Just waste them. <laughs> so that, that 1600 guys is really nice. Uh, you just kind of, you know, keep your finger on your potion. Because um, once you hop into Archon, you know, all your, all your defenses are gone. You don't have teleport anymore. Uh, you can definitely work teleport back into this build if you'd like. I mean, this build is 
you know, it's it's just starting. It's it can be customized. Ah, uh, yeah, we got a champ right here, guys. So you can see if you have enough attack speed, you can almost get that perma freeze going. If I had more crit and better better gear, I could definitely hold it up. But I mean, I'm holding it pretty well right here, even with my gear. I mean, if you had more DPS, you know, this guy would be gone already, but I don't have the best DPS in the world. Try and keep moving. I was standing in some desecration right there. So you just keep this going, guys. Keep this going. I'm badly wounded. I'm gonna get out, grab a health blow. I really need some more life on him. Build it back up. Build it back up. Pop Archon, and he's and he's done for. And he dropped a Hellion crossbow right now. All right, so that that gives you the idea, guys. Um, again, I'm doing this with not even the best gear in the world. You know, I mean, I've only got 1,300 intelligence, um, so you can imagine how much better it would be with some really quality gear. Um, what I want to show you now is just kind of the variants that people are doing uh, that I've experienced with. Let me, I want to get my arcane cooldown down so I can switch the skill real quick. Not ready yet. Need more arcane power. Um, it kind of sucks for one target. It can be a little difficult with one target because your twisters aren't sitting in one place anymore. Um, but, you know, a lot of the times you're going through groups, especially in Act 3. Alright, now that I got my cooldown down so I can switch the skill. Um, one that was working well for me, um, that I liked quite a bit, was Shock Pulse um, with Piercing Orb. And the nice part about Shock Pulse is it, it gives you a lot of life on hit. Um, I'm only, Like I said, I'm only working with 300 life on hit right now, but with Shock Pulse, um, you're getting a lot of life on hit back. You know where I'm gonna go. I'll go to the bridge. So basically, what you're doing is Storm Chaser uh, builds up um, three charges to 75%, and then to release it, you need a signature skill: uh, Magic Missile, Shock Pulse, or uh, Spectral Blade Electrocute. So using Shock Pulse, uh, you can release that tornado, and it, it does a decent amount of damage. Um, it doesn't do Oh, I'm not that far in the quest. It doesn't do quite as much as um, Archon, obviously. Um, but if you're not liking hopping in and out of Archon like that, you can just try this. And I'll show you, the, I'll show you guys how that works. Still waiting. All right, so you can see, guys, I have three built up down there. So now, when I release Shock Pulse, it's gonna release this big tornado. It goes in a straight line. It was created right there for about 63k. See what the nice part about shock pulse is, is if you're if you're struggling a bit, you can kite. And each shock pulse is giving me, see it's giving me that 300 life on hit, and it's shock pulse deals pretty good damage. So you can break them down from a distance like that, and then get up close. So then come in again if you're having trouble staying alive, like especially with ice, it's tough. So then release that tornado after you build up those charges, guys. So this is how it works with shock bolts. These guys are a pain because they got nightmarish on their bows. Um, so you still work them down with this. If you build that tornado up, go ahead and release it at them. Do a better job of dodging the ice than I did. I got trapped in that corner there. Alright, so get your prismatic back up. Try and dodge the fire chains. Alright, release the tornado at him. Try and dodge the ice again. Release another tornado. Fire off some shock bolts. Alright, there we go guys. Got him down there. Alright, so that... That's pretty much the Shock Pulse build. You can just kind of lead with it. Um, again, having a lot of attack speed helps. 
You know, I mean, that that's hitting okay, you know, getting 26 to 30k crits, so you can come in here, drop a lot of shock pulls, drop that tornado, build this up, <clears throat> release the tornado, and that's, that's how it works with the tornado, guys. And then one other variant that I've been seeing, um, I noticed it on a forum topic, is... You swap out uh, Explosive Blast for the Arcane Hydra. Now the Arcane Hydra does 60% weapon damage, which is pretty good. Um, so basically, you just you mainly hang back a bit more with this build. You're not as you're not as up close as you would normally be with Crit Mass. Um, this can be more of a kiting build if your gear is not all that great. <coughs> so what you want to do. You want to put this Hydra down, and you just kind of continue with Shock Pulse, and the Hydra's going to do a lot of the work for you. Mm, I mean, you can see that mob was pretty easy to clean up right there. So let's see if we can get a bigger one here. Alright, so just lay that Hydra down. You can still do some crit mass here. Release the Twister. <coughs> The whole time you got the Hydra working for you. So basically it's just, it's taking the place of the damage that Explosive Blast would be doing and you don't have to be as close, you can kind of be hanging back a bit. So get the Hydra up, get Explosive Blast going again, release the Tornado. You get a pretty good, pretty good damage combo going with that. And then, and it works, it works really well. Alright, we even got a champ right here, we can see how it works. Get the Hydra down, build up the tornado, release the tornado guys. Get the freeze going. I was making the mistake of casting my Hydra over and over again. I have a macro to hit all three keys, so that's why that was happening. So the Hydra's doing his thing, you're doing crit mass on this guy. Get the Hydra back up. Alright, Hydra's up. Continue doing crit mass. Continue releasing the tornado. So you can see guys, this is a little slower than Explosive Blast. Um, I mean, the, the Hydra's putting out good damage, but it's, it's not going to compete with Explosive Blast. <laughs> and granted, this guy has extra health, so that's why this one's taking a little longer. But it, it still, it still works just fine. I mean, I'm, I haven't even come close to dying yet. This isn't the hardest champ in the world. He doesn't have any arcane, any molt, anything like that. Just keep that tornado going. Keep the Hydra up. And there we go. So that's kind of the three popular variants I've been seeing. Um, what I've tried other than that is Shock Pulse with Meteor, like Star Pact. Um, people have been trying Spectral Blades, people have been trying Meteor Shower. Um, my personal opinions on those, uh, Spectral Blade is too slow. Um, I don't have enough attack speed so I can't speak uh, for the people that are better geared than me. Um, if you have a lot of attack speed, maybe try it out. <coughs> My attacks per second right now are only 1.56. 1, 1 I got attack speed on both rings and I got attack speed on my weapon. Uh, try and get that attack speed, guys. It's really nice for this build. Um, Meteor, I found Meteor to be too slow. It takes too long for that Meteor to hit. Um, it's just too much time being wasted. Uh, so my favorite, guys, is still pretty much the old school uh, Chain Reaction and if I'm not doing Archon, I'm doing Shock Pulse. I really like Shock Pulse, guys. It works really well. Um, casting that Tornado, it doesn't do as much damage as that Archon Explosion, obviously, but then you don't have to worry about hopping in and out of Archon and breaking your, your rhythm as much. Um, so test that out, and you can decide which works better for you. Uh, let's go ahead and ID that Hellion. Maybe we got something good. Uh, good DPS, but we got... No decks, we got no crit chance, so not the best in the world. 
Um, I just recently found a Dead Man's Legacy. Uh, I've got it on the auction house for like 50 million, so I'm hoping that sells. Um, <coughs> I've been streaming this build, guys. Um, if you want to check out my stream over at Twitch, it's just twitch.tv slash rovertgaming. Uh, same name as my YouTube name. Um, I hope this video helped you guys. Um, please subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video, let me know. Um, again, I'm fairly new to this build, so if you have some of your own variants you've found success with, uh, post them, you know, link, link me up, let me know. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys.